Whatever Happened to Dennis Weaver, Star of McLeod and Gunsmoke Dennis Weaver was born William Dennis Weaver on June 4, 1924, in Joplin, Missouri, to Walter Leon Weaver and his wife, Lena Lee Ora Prather. His father was of English, Irish, and Osage descent. For several years, Weaver lived in Shreveport, Louisiana. He then moved to Manteca, California, for a brief period. He first attended the Missouri Southern State University and then joined the University of Oklahoma to study dramatics. Weaver was a record-setting track star at the University of Oklahoma. During World War II, he served in the United States Navy as a pilot of the Vought F-4U Corsair fighter aircraft. He participated in the 1948 U.S. Olympic under the moniker Billy D. Weaver and finished at the sixth position in the decathlon category. Weaver always wanted to be an actor. Thus, after performing terribly in the Olympics, he decided to stay in New York and become an actor instead. Weaver began his acting career as a covering artist for Lonnie Chapman for the role of Turk Fisher in the Broadway hit comeback, Little Sheba. However, he later took over the role for the National Touring Company. Weaver joined the actor's studio and simultaneously did several odd jobs, such as selling vacuum cleaners, tricycles, and women's hosiery to ensure a regular flow of income. At the actor's studio, he met Shelley Winters, who got Weaver a contract from Universal Studios in 1952. Unfortunately, Universal did little to fetch prominent projects for Weaver. Hence, he worked as a freelancer in films and on TV until he got his breakthrough role. He made his film debut with the 1953 Technicolor western The Redhead from Wyoming. Weaver got several movies for the next three years but still had to continue with odd jobs. Following this, he bagged his first prominent role in the radio and TV western drama series Gunsmoke, in which he played Chester Good. His remarkable performance as a limping military assistant in the highest rated and longest running live action American series earned him the Emmy Award for the Best Supporting Actor in 1959. Gunsmoke's success earned him several more TV roles. He played Commander B.D. Claggett in an episode of the syndicated anthology The Silent Service and a supporting role in the 1958 film Noir Touch of Evil. In 1972, Weaver ventured into music and released his first album under Impress Records LP. Around the same time, he launched his own record label, Just Good Records. Weaver was seen in the anthologies Alfred Hitchcock Presents in 1960 and The Twilight Zone in 1961. From 1964 to 1965, he played a veterinarian in the NBC comedy drama Kentucky Jones, before he got the roles of Willard Grange in the 1966 western duel at Diablo and Tom Wedlowy in the CBS family series Gentle Ben, 1967 to 1969. Weaver earned two more Emmy Award nominations, for his performance as the New Mexico Deputy Marshal Sam McLeod in the NBC police drama McLeod. 1970 to 1977. In 1971, he reprised the role in the show's TV movie version directed by Steven Spielberg. From 1973 to 1975, Weaver served as the president of the Screen Actors Guild. In 1977, Weaver played an abusive husband in the TV movie Intimate Strangers, which was one of the first TV projects that showed domestic violence. In 1978, he appeared as the trail boss R.J. Potteet in the miniseries Centennial. In the 1980s, Weaver appeared in titular roles in two ABC series, as Sergeant Daniel Stone comma detective turned crime novelist, in the police drama Stone and as a Texan surgeon and rancher in the medical drama Buck James. He had the lead role of Rear Admiral Thomas Mallory in 22 episodes, 1983-1984, of the CBS series Emerald Point NAS. Additionally, Weaver featured in several acclaimed TV movies that decade, such as Amber Waves, 1980. The same year, he shared screen space with his son, Robert, in the short-lived NBC police series Stone and played Dr. Samuel Mudd, the Lincoln assassination convict, in The Ordeal of Dr. Mudd. In 1983, he portrayed a cocaine-addicted real estate agent in Cocaine, one Man Seduction and delivered an acclaimed performance as an illiterate man in the 1987 film Bluffing It. 
In February 2002, he voiced the character Buck McCoy in the animated series The Simpsons. He directed four episodes of Gunsmoke and one episode of MC Cloud. He also produced Dennis Weaver's Earthship documentary and the TV movie The Return of Sam McCloud. Weaver's last TV appearance was as Henry Ritter in the ABC family series Wildfire. His tenure in the series was cut short due to his death. In 1981, Weaver was honored with the Bronze Wrangler Award and a mention in the Hall of Great Western Performers at the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum in Oklahoma City. He has a Hollywood Walk of Fame star. Weaver was married to Jerry Stowell and had three sons, Richard, Robert, and Rustin Weaver. He became a vegetarian in 1958 and later turned to yoga and meditation. He was an ardent follower of Paramahansa Yogananda of the Self-Realization Fellowship in the U.S. Weaver believed in preserving the environment, which is exemplified by his home in Ridgeway, Colorado, which he had named Earthship. Built and designed by architect Michael Reynolds, the house is made of recycled material and has solar power systems and other eco-technologies installed in it. In an attempt to promote awareness about dangerous environmental hazards, Weaver established the Institute of Ecolonomics, Ecology and Economics, in 1993 in Berthet, Colorado, as a way to find solutions to economic and environmental problems. Weaver founded the nonprofit organization Love is Feeding Everyone. He was active in politics, too, and organized and raised funds for George McGovern's 1972 presidential campaigns. Weaver was highly active in the annual Genesis Awards Committee. He was a staunch Democrat throughout his life. Sadly, on February 24, 2006, Weaver died of cancer in Ridgeway, Colorado. He was 81. Goodbye Dennis Weaver